Okay, starting off, we got a treasure room. Oh my god. I, uh, wow. Okay, cool. All right. Whatever. You know what? We're running with it. I, <laughs> what a random reroll. And that might have been the fastest crickets head I've ever had. I don't typically get this uh, item as a start, so this is awesome. Is that a reverse lovers? Is this just like the giga rig initially? Just go straight forward, send it, okay. All right, and we have rerolls, so I mean, this is gonna get real absurd real fast, I think. Tons of keys, we do have a roll, so hopefully if this deal is- or sorry, not deal. If this boss isn't good, then we can do it. I kind of- I, I feel like it's better to go Angels of Isaac. I, I kind of want to mess with Devil Rooms today, I don't know. Maybe, we'll see. Uh, that's just straight up a damage up, so I'm taking that. What an absurd- what the heck is- oh, hello? Eight damage? This curse room provided nothing for me except spiders and pain. Yeah, it gave me a bomb, actually. This is a stars card. I'll use it just to make sure that I do not forget reverse stars. Uh, or reverse lovers, sorry. Keeper's Kin is okay. The other item was incredibly good, some thorium, but we can't give up uh, our active item for that. Keeper's Kin does scale with your damage, so it is highly effective. Obvious secret room. I'll open this. Hey, cool. Should I check out the shop? I have seven cents. It's not a bad decision, I don't think. Actually, I have eight now. Oh yeah, wow. Okay, this is just a god run, actually. As long as I don't get hit here, I'll spawn the devil. And yeah, you do, 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 do. let me go take the reverse lovers before I forget about it. Don't want to bozo. I, I've decided I will go devil rooms today. Why not? I always go angel rooms with Isaac. Let's switch it up. Have a little fun. Min-min fight should be easy because I'm pretty sure I one-shot the, uh, no, I don't. I two-shot them, but still, I two-shot the, the yellow wisps. Minmin's done for. We got Pentagram? Okay, wow. And Bloody Gust, which is an okay item, but a roll. That sucks because it's such a good item, but I can't. There's no reason for me to, as far as I know, right? Like, oh, Bookworm. Okay. I might as well have the option to have Angel Rooms instead of just like, trading a two hearts for a black heart. Like, that wouldn't have done anything. We come in here, I thought that was the exact same item as last floor because it looks like some Torium. Tiny Toma will give us a bit of defense. We'll take the Soul Heart to protect our Red Hearts. Rainmaker fight's probably the easiest downpour fight. Also, he just died to all of my spiders. Uh, no deal, HP ups, whatever. We can roll, get an HP plus damage up. That's more like it. And following that, I actually got a little bit more money. So now I do want to check out the shop. It's PhD and it's balls. I want to get balls first and then I'll see if I can get PhD. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't do that. I'm excited just nearly killed me. I know I already kind of have good pills, so I'm not too interested. You know, I don't, I don't really need a PhD, but that balls play and early balls can really carry you. This seems like a tinted rock, actually. Watch me get another damage up through small rock. That would have been insane. We could roll the knife piece. It looks like we have enough charges. We'll see if this boss is good. Again, there's options of just carrying, giving us so many, uh, <laughs> literal options these boss fights so this will probably be good at which point i'll just roll the knife it, yeah again like it's just it's absurd roll this get probably a great item it literally was and let's go buy balls take this and then oh my god there's a golden penny leading me to just straight up buy phd which gave me a range up this is just perfect what a perfect run this is a very satisfying run. Nothing has gone bad at all. I think the only thing I could say is like gone quote unquote bad is I took one bit of damage on basement one. I think I'm close to getting perfection at this point. We don't have uh, enough bombs for uh, mine, so I'm just gonna spend this last one that I have on the super secret room and hopefully get a beggar. Oh my god, I did. Uh, do I do it here? I mean, there's no way he pays out, right? Nah, he's not gonna pay out, let's be real. Oh my god, I'm doing it, I don't care. Oh, maybe I should have taken Lost Soul. Nah, it's fine. We're not taking the Eternal D6. I was thinking of taking Lost Soul, but flight's more important. Arcade. We came to this floor with five or more cents, so we do have it. Maybe just get me a blind item? No. All right. Let's uh, come back with a bomb. Blow that regular judgment up, but not the charged guy, because the charged guy could be good. The library? Oh, that's... See, now the charge beggar is actually really Im important. Because now I can force this library to give me uh, nothing at all, actually. It's it's no books. The, the fabled no book library. All right. Let's play this blood bank a little bit. Luck up. Cool. Another two plays on this? No? All right, you know what? Both of you are leaving. I really want this crane game to pay out, but it's not. What is with the luck today? Soul heart 
from a poop? That does not happen naturally. That is not a natural occurrence. <laughs> That is very abnormal. Absolutely just clearing every single room I come across. It's absurd. I just have to take this, I think. I think it's more important. A deck of cards. Okay, well now I can roll it for real. It gave me a Wheel of Fortune, which I can plop here. Maybe get a secret room at the same time? No. I'll roll it. Get plenty of room. That's fine. I need to get a roll before the boss. I probably won't be able to. I'll have to take the charge key, probably. We actually are looking like we're gonna get a roll in time. What? I can't believe it. Everything is working out for me. All right, let's go. Fistula. There's perfection. I'm playing like a god. I'll take a two heart deal. That's not a two heart deal. That's not a two heart deal either. Uh, so we've decided, I figured it out. Everything about this run is great, except the devil deal. <laughs> Literally everything about this run is perfect and nothing has gone wrong, except the devil deals. The deals aren't so hot. Probably my secret room. Nice. And then probably just- oh, I guess it's a card. Oh, we don't need one of these, so get rid of that guy, I guess. Is that- there's no way that's ahead of the keeper. That's a coupon, sorry. All right. Still, I mean, Jesus. This is another reroll, right? Your joke? They gave me the battery! It's- I'm gonna reroll the secret room. It's gonna happen. Right here. I can't believe it. If this breaks my game, I'm gonna scream. Pyro? That's basically a break. This is some absurdist luck right now. May as well take this charge key. I see no reason not to. And I'll, I'll spend all my money. I don't care. There you go. Perfect. I don't know what this is. Probably a blood bag. There you go. Try and get one more. No. Just take this. Tech point five. Beautiful. This is just like reroll heaven right now. I, I have no complaints and I feel like I'm playing well too. I I have perfection as not the loss. That's, uh, that's something to be proud of. So it doesn't look like there's any way for me to really break into that boss challenge room. So we'll leave that alone. Come in here, Choco! Yes, that's beautiful. Ow. Oh no, my perfection. Oh, I bozoed. Oh yeah, yeah. It's okay. Maybe I can get another one. There's a shop. Broken modem. Oh my god, I really want... I really want perfection again. If I can get another perfection, oh. The amount of pickups we'll get is, is so stupid. This is just genuinely a high damage chocolate milk charged Tira. I'm so down, dude. That sounds so fun to play. Also, I got my treasure room and my shop and my boss all in this corner, ready to go. These, um, I mean, more charge would be cooler, but I'll just take more damage. If I'm one-shotting those giant mine stone dudes, that's, that's absurd. That's some huge damage for me. Alright, teleport me. No? Give me an item? Ah, a little unlucky. We can get key pieces though. Do I even want the key pieces? Or do, do I do something even crazier and I, I just re-rolled them for fun? I gotta wanna roll them! You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Roll it, why not? Dead eye? Are you joking? Where's like the mid item? I don't have any mid items. They, they don't exist on this run. They're all good. Look at that. Look at my items. I, I can't name a single item I'm disappointed to have. The most would be Tiny Toma. I guess keepers can. Like, even then. <laughs> this is absurd. Alright, next floor. Speed run time, I guess. Curse of the Blind. Again. Alright, that's that's disappointing. Oh wow, you're greedy. See, this is why I wanted to uh, wait. Unfortunately, it's blind. So I don't know why I did that. Never mind, that was Bozo. That was a bit of a noob move. I'm not gonna lie. That was kind of, yeah, a little bit yikes. Okay, I'm blind, I forgot. Boom, how to jump, okay. Incorrect decision. First one that was actually incorrect. Blue Baby's only friend. I can officially say that this is a mid item. We finally found our first not god tier item. Sheesh, that took a while. I'll just buy this. Oh my god, jumper cables? Hell yeah. Uh, I just bought it mainly because I have balls, I only use them. A was. This is a free crawl space if we use it right over here specifically. Nice. No black market. It is an item though. Let's go. We are now cap shooting masters. Mmm. You would give me this, wouldn't you? Uh, well, I think the better play, obviously, like mathematically, is to roll here and just hope this is good. Good news, guys. It was good. And here we got Chubbo. I will risk it on Vasculites. That's not bad. And here we have Alabaster with a restock machine. Ooh. Okay. See, restock is interesting. Comforts we don't need. Crooked Penny. Uh, and then a Mom's Purse. Roll it? Ah, probably should have taken Mom's Purse. It's like a whatever item though. I think I'm gonna get perfection if I keep playing well. 
That's actually an interesting one. What if we uh, did a challenge where... Wow, well, we're not getting perfection anymore. What if we did a challenge where I started with Crooked Penny, but I have to Crooked Penny every pedestal? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I have to, and I can only take an item if it's Crooked Penny pedestal. That sounds funny. I might do that, actually. Dude, one makes you small. Reduce my hitbox, please. It never made sense to me that the one makes you small reduces your hitbox. The one makes you larger... Uh, wow, double charge key. Does not increase your hitbox. It's just visual. I guess it's for balance reasons, right? I don't think I can really use this charge key. I don't have a way to teleport out. Let me find my secret room. But I, I don't think there's a, a possibility here. That sucks because that's so much potential. Well, might as well take these. Kind of unsatisfying, but whatever. We're gonna spam our Tristagian Choco Milk and do so much. That was absurd. Let's go down. And then let's roll this. And then let's... Take... You? I don't know. These are like whatever. I'm gonna use, use jump card gear. It wouldn't be bad for this fight. Mom's eye, wow, it's gonna be kind of good because I can shoot behind me or specifically here. But in general, those items are pretty mid. I probably should have taken maybe meat cleaver and just rolled it over and over and over again. I am getting a little confused. I'm not gonna lie due to vasculitis. But I, for me personally, I know people kind of get confused a lot with that item. I, I, personally, I'm okay. I don't take too much damage from vasculitis tears. And I find it a very satisfying item, so I take it. And the item is... Whatever. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh my god. One of the best items you can get with Trisagion. And not only is it one of the best items I can get as Trisagion, it's one of the best items I can get in general because I don't really get a tears down. I can shoot as fast as I want due to Choco Milk. I am pretty sure this is some of the most damage I can do, actually. I know it doesn't visually seem like it, but I think I might be able to destroy Hush in near record time. If my, if my calculations are correct. <laughs> yeah, the damage is, is skyrocketed. Look at that. Wow, that was one shot. That was one not charged shot. And it killed all of those bad boys. Let's head to the left here and just shoot. And see that I do a bunch of damage. Told you. It's going to be really, really good. Alright, let's open all of these. Okay, Quartor. Guess I'll take it, why not? Uh, no curses. Reverse cards, stars, maybe still potential for a bit of rig. In here we have uh, uh, the most re-rollable room I've seen in my life. And in here we have these. I'm honestly, I know this is 2-3 spun, I'm gonna take this. The other one was a shot speed up. And this synergizes as well with Trisagian, so we're gonna run with this instead. And I'm also gonna roll this while trying to find a crawl space. That is also the most re-rollable room I've ever seen. There it is. Super band. Okay. Well, I somehow I wasn't even looking at my health. I almost have 12 red hearts. Okay. So, this is what I wanted to see. Because I think that this is a really cool synergy. Whoa! I'm spewing green everywhere. And if I really tap first. Oh, yeah, there you go. I just really have to shoot absurdly fast. But my damage is actually higher than most of my build. It hurts my fingers so much, guys. Hold on. I'm ready. <laughs> and Hush has already done four. That was the power of Eve's Mascara, Trisagi, and Chocolate Milk. What a unique synergy we're running today. Shaitan fight. I wasn't counting. I think right now. Oh my god! I almost blew myself up. What a nice fast run. Dude, have I ever told you guys how much I love this video game? I know I gush about this game all the time, but... The smallest things, man. I just love playing this game so much. I, I I know it translates to the camera too. You guys can tell how much I love this game. I'm so glad I get to share this with you guys. Let's continue the dark room and get very overpowered. Check it. Check it. Check it. Nothing. Uh, I could go for a conjoined, which wouldn't be bad. Why not? Full of Eden. That's whatever. Lost contact would be good, actually. But lost contact would be completely broken and I wouldn't be able to die. You guys really think I'm gonna die? <laughs> Let's be real here. I might as well just try and get OP at this point because I'm not, I'm not dying. Fast bombs. 
Unfortunately, no perfection. I bozoed, I got hit on the mines, I couldn't get it back. There's so much chest though, and I'm not sure why. Boom, roll it again, notched axe. That is by far one of the worst rolls I've ever had. That's notched axe and IBS, probably some of my least favorite items in the game. If there are any items that I would ask to get buffed, it's those two, because those are, um, like, uh, even, okay, I would say even IBS has uses, and that's what I like about this game. I would say almost every single uh, item in this game has some form of use, even bad ones. You know, you call it a bad item, but I could probably name a way to use it effectively. Uh, not notched axe, that one, that one kind of sucks. Oh! oh my god, I have 155 damage. My laser explodes people. Okay, it's time to leave. The only na like niche case use, the only niche case use I can think of for Notched Axe is, is it even called Notched Axe? What am I talking about? It's called Data Miner. The only use case I can think of for Data Miner 109 is uh, if you manage to get like really low tier rate and then use it again, and then it lowers your tiers even more. It does the thing where like it goes below the interval and just hits max. So it goes to 120 tier rate. Uh, uh, but that's so such like a random interaction like that doesn't happen in normal games so if there's one item i would ask for a buff data miner one of the only items i truly cannot think of a, a common like oh maybe i can use it for this very specific scenario i could use it for a couple floors and then get rid of it no not not data miner i could never i think i've accepted that i'm gonna die so i'm just gonna spam and hope that uh i make it to the boss in time we found it we found the lamb uh, let me take a health up and then we'll try and beat the lamb before we explode. Let me get a big boy charge. And then one shot it. Alright, we were fine all along. Point of rib, you get the kill. Actually, Daddy Long Legs literally kill stole from you. I can't beat Delirium, but I'll try. I'm gonna, I, I, I cut to when I die in the chest. Alex, go ahead and cut to, like, for one frame of the death animation of me dying. Like, the, the note. Cause it'll happen. What is this? The wafer? Oh! Is that the most clutch wafer I've had in my life? Wait a second. And another tinted rock. There's the small rock finally showing up. Is this you? Oh god. Well, here's the skill check. I don't exactly have good delirium damage. Uh, so I kinda just have to hope that he turns into his normal face form and has no armor. Actually, my damage is absurd. My damage is so good. That maybe all I have to do is just brute force him. I will be so surprised if I do this. Death card. I don't know. Why not? Oh, I don't have wafer anymore. It's gone. No, come on. Wait, yes, I do. What? I do. Don't stop me. I did it? I didn't even shoot. That was the stupidest wafer play I've ever made. I cannot believe I beat Delirium. Wow. That was really fun today. GG. It's time to stream, baby! I'm streaming Twitch.tv slash LazyMatman, and today's something unique. You won't know what I'm doing unless you go there. What?